Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create a new coin spawner system. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the GM Endless Runner Blueprint class. And here on the spawn obstacles function, we have now these spawn coins under here. So what we want to do is actually we want to copy this and we want to go to the spawn coins and now we want to rename these spawn coins to coins spawner because we will create another function that will uh, be the main coin spawner basically. So now that we are here what we want to do is we want to actually cut this link so alt and left click. Also, let's delete this and let's delete this. Now let's move all these a lot further. So like somewhere around here, I think. And now what we want to do next, we want to add a branch here. And what we want to check here will be, uh, we have to create a new variable that will be called coins already pawned, okay? And we want to check that this coins already spawned is not true, so not boolean. So when we haven't spawned the coins yet, then we can continue from here. And when we can continue, what we want to do next, we want to paste the code that we copied from here, this one, and connect it to the true. Now, what else we want to do here is we want to go to this input and we want to add a new input here called born after location and let's change this to float and let's move it to middle here okay now let's go here we want to right click and get the spawn after location and connect it to the x okay now let's click on this again and let's oh actually we can do it from here sorry uh so from here, spawn uh, from the input, let's click this and let's open the spawn after location and let's change the default value to be 300, like that. So now, after this, we want to connect to here. Now we want to right click and get the amount and check if it's equal to zero, like before. We only cut the link that came from here and also here where we set the coins amount to spawn we want to get this amount again so amount okay so everything is everything here is like they were before only different thing is we added this and also we are checking if we have already spawned the coin okay so the next thing, what we want to do here, is we want to compile, we want to save all. Then we want to create a new function called spawn coins after obstacle, like this. And here, what we want to do, we want to add a input, and it will be called spawn Chan, chance, uh, sorry, chance, like that. And let's add a this percentage mark here so we can remember that it's by persons, like this. And let's open this and let's make this default value like, what should we make it like? V33, like that. And also let's add another variable. It will also be float and let's call this 
spawn after location. And uh, let's also set this default value to be 300, like that. Now what we want to do, we want to get from the spawn chance, and we want to check if it's greater than, and from here, what we want to do, we want to get random float in range. Now let's make it between zero and 100. So this will get a random value, for example, 50. And now if our spawn chance is less than 50, then we uh, this condition turns to be false. But if it's greater than 50, then it will be true. So we are basically randomly checking if we get it by the uh, this percent that we set here. And now after this, we just want to call this coin spawner from the true. We can set this, everything be like this. Or actually we have to connect the spawn after location. Sorry about that. <laughs> so spawn after location, let's connect it to here and let's move it a little bit further. Like this. Now one more thing that we have to do here on the coin spawner, here, when, here, uh, on this branch, on the false, what we want to do, we want to set these coins already spawned to be uh, true, like this. And let's actually move all this a little bit further, like this maybe. Okay. So when we have run through this code, it will go from this coins amount to spawn. It will go to the false at, on the last run, and it will set this to true. And now let's compile and save all. Now here on the spawn obstacles, on the start where we set the lanes block to be zero on the completed, we also want to set the coins already spawned back to false. Like that. Now, when we compile and save, and go here. Oh, we have to actually first do a few more things here. So let's delete this from here. Connect it straight to here. And we can set this spawn after location to be zero because we can spawn it exact, exactly to the uh, obstacle spawn point because we are not spawning an obstacle there. Now here, after all these obstacles, we want to call this coin uh, spawn coins after obstacle. Simple as that. Now we can set the spawn chance from here, but let's leave it to 32%. And also we can set the location, but let's copy this, paste it after every one, every one of these, except the one that we cannot uh, pass through. So uh, this one where we set this lane lanes blocked, when we increment that, there we don't want to call this function because we don't want to be able to spawn coins after obstacle that we cannot uh, go over or under. We can get to the toes coins easily. So yeah, now let's compile and save and let's see what happens. You can see we have coins there. We don't have coins here. And we have some coins here. And I actually think we have to change one thing, which is actually this number here. Let's change this to be like six. Okay, let's compile, save and play. Let's see what happens now. We have coins here. Also, we have coin here, here, and yeah, you can see it is working like it's supposed to work. And we can try it even more by changing this, so it will always spawn one of these, and we can make this, these chances to like 50, so Ten. 
now we should have coins spawning basically at least almost every time. Yeah, you can see we have coins here, coins here, coins there, coins here, coins here. And as you can see, it is working like it's supposed to work. And you can, of course, play with the values however you want. But yeah, let's change this back. Let's right click and reset to default, reset to default, and reset to default. And if you want to spawn coins like every time after some certain obstacles, you can just set this to be 100. And yeah. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.